the Phillies, they missed out. Hey guys, welcome to Philly Sports Sports. This is a channel if you want to learn about Philadelphia sports and what is going on in the Philadelphia sports this very second. The Phillies miss out on Dallas Keuchel and Craig Kimbrell, which is not good because they were guys that we needed. Uh, two pitchers, Dallas Keuchel being the starter, which we need a good starting pitcher, and Craig Kimbrell being the closer, and we need some help in our bullpen, even though it's doing pretty good right now. We still need some help there. But the Phillies, they missed out. Dallas Keuchel goes to the Braves for $13 million in I don't know how many years. I didn't. I don't, one, I don't remember, and two, I couldn't really find it anywhere. Sorry. But, I read this thing. Are the Braves the new favorite in the NL East? They're, no, no, not at all. Not at all. I mean, people are probably saying, oh, they got to go pitcher now so they can compete. <laughs> The Phillies are still a favorite. I'm going to keep on saying this. I don't care about you, draft neck mark. If you think the Phillies are a fourth, uh, a fourth place team, huh? would you say? Okay, that's a bit too close. But, uh, yeah, he said the Phillies are a fourth place team. I don't know what he's doing. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But the Phillies miss out on Dallas Keuchel, which is the... Uh, the uh, starting pitchers, so uh, Braves got some pitching. Braves got some pitching. If their uh, offense can pick up, then they, they they got something going. They got something going. The second one is Craig Kimbrell, who goes to the Cubs for three years and $43 million. Okay, now we missed out. Now we missed out. On a closer, which is kind of a problem for us right now. Sort of. Right now, Hector Naris, you know, he's doing well. But we missed out on another guy. We got the Phillies GM. We got to We got to do something. We, we got to do something. I'm going to reflect on a, on both of these. The Dallas Keiko one I'm a bit more concerned about because the Braves. But, um. The uh, Cub, uh, uh, Craig Kimball with the Cubs, it doesn't really matter to us. They're in the NL Central, and we just need to win the NL East, but they can be scary in the playoffs. I'm going to start with the Dallas Keuchel uh, stuff first up. The Braves, giving them a deal for $13 million. I forget how many years. But, I mean, this is a guy that we needed. We needed Dallas Keuchel. I mean, I don't like his first name, Dallas. That sucks. But we we missed out on a good starting pitcher. We have some good starting pitchers. I was listening to WIP last night, and they said there was a couple things that if the Phillies do this, they can turn around. Scott King are we getting on a hot streak. Nick Pavetta finding his stuff. Vince Velasquez being a good bullpen pitcher. That turns the whole season around. That puts the Phillies at number one for sure. That's like a, if we can get that rolling, we're like really good. Really good. We would be in really good shape. So, yeah. Why... Why am I concerned about Dallas Keiko? Why am I concerned about the Braves? They're the Braves. They made a huge run on us last year. It was absolutely huge. Oh my god, what I'm saying huge. Huge. But uh the Phillies could have really gotten Dallas Keiko and done it whatever with him because he's a phenomenal pitcher. Phenomenal. We could have really, you know, got him, you know, do some, do some stuff. 
Uh, we would have been really good, but the Braves got him, and, you know, it sucks that we didn't get him, but there's nothing we can do about it. The Braves are scary. The Braves are now the favorite for the wild for the number one spot in the wild card at least in my opinion they're they're gonna be a wild card team but they're they're scary now they are scary they're not the favorite for number one they're the Phillies are gonna win the division no matter what happens I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not being biased with my own MLB personnel which is uh kind of biased the Phillies can do it they can definitely win this series win this uh division but really really we missed out on a really good pitcher and he went to the Braves which is like our number one enemy right now other than the Mets but they kind of suck uh it's gonna be hard this is going to be really really hard to uh to deal with but um you know, there's nothing you can uh, really do about it now. But they're going to be scary. They're going, they are a scary team now. And it's going to be hard to, uh, to face them and, um, and try to win against Dallas Keuchel. Because we usually didn't face Houston that much because in the AL, but we faced the Braves a lot. And we faced the Braves Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then we go on this huge and at least stuff. And then we face him again July 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. And then July 26th, 27th, 28th. It's going to be hard to win those games because they're a good team now, the Dallas Keiko. So, yeah, those are my Dallas Keiko reports. Let's move on to Craig Kimball. Craig Kimbrell is a is that guy that goes uh that uh his lineup is like this. And I remember a couple of years ago the fanatic was mocking him and the crowd was uh doing that uh in the ninth. Here, let me just show you. The fans behind old plate are trying to impersonate Kimbrel. <laughs> Watch this stuff. Here we go. Look at this. Kimbrel's got an odd start to his his set position. They're like the fanatic. Here, here they go. They're up. Ready? And now everybody. <laughs> That's outstanding. <laughs> Gets away from Bethencourt. Bird didn't come home right away, so he'll stop. <laughs> we got everybody involved now. Three balls, two strikes. Bird leads off third. Brown leads off second. And again, the 3 2 pitch. Up and in. Ball. That's pretty cool. That's Craig Kimbrell for you. He used to play for the Braves, as you can see. And then he went to the Red Sox and was phenomenal. And now he's with the Cubs. And the Cubs are even scarier than they were. Even scary, because now they can close out games. Congratulations, but you can close out games, Chicago. So they're scary. He goes for three years, $43 million. It's not... 330 or 430 or whatever the heck Mike Trout was. Mike Trout's numbers, but like, still, like, boy, you just got a lot of money. Uh, they missed out. They plainly, the Phillies missed out on two good pitchers. With this crack combo run, I'm not that uh, into because, like, it's the Cubs. 
If we face the Cubs in the playoffs, oh, scary. But if we face them, like, in the regular season, it doesn't really matter. But the Braves, on the other hand, are more important than the Cubs, at least for the Phillies. We shouldn't be that concerned. We should be more concerned about the, uh, the Braves and the Cubs. And Dallas Keiko is, in my opinion, uh, a bit better than a uh, Craig Kimball. But, I mean, Dallas Craig Kimball is still scary. So, Cubs got a good deal with that one. Kind of wanted to mush those two guys together, make a whole video on them to, uh, together. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like if you like it. Subscribe for the other chance so I get more subscribers. If the um, comments aren't disabled on this video, just... Go and type down what you think about these two trades. Tell me, what do you think the Braves and Cubs are a bit more scary? What do you think they're going to do with these guys, you know? So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment what you think, and I'll see you next time. Peace.